Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a another haul. <laughs> um, I have an Ulta haul today. Not a lot of things. Um, I actually finally got the chance to go. I've been meaning to go. I've been meaning to buy so many new products, but I just have not had the time. And I was going to buy some things online, but with some of the deals that are going on, you can't buy them online. It's only in store only. So, yeah. If you want to see what I got from Ulta, okay. Then so I want to start off by saying how cute and how nice of Ulta to do the pink bag for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I thought that is awesome. Totally awesome. Um, yeah, so just wanted to quick mention that. I thought that was pretty cool. So the first thing I got is actually really interesting. This is from Real Techniques. I hope that this works because if it does, it is so cool. Okay, so this is the Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection Miracle Sponge. This is the Diamond Sponge. That is what it looks like. It is literally a diamond. I thought that was awesome. I'm hoping and praying. Actually, let's just open him up right now. I hope it feels the same. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because it's not wet. It feels a little, oh, I don't know. That looks awesome though for those inner corner areas though. That point, so pointy. I don't know. It feels a little bit sturdier if that makes sense. So I don't know. That we're gonna have to test out when we can see. All right. Okay. Next, if I could close this box, we have the, I wanted to try some new Tarte stuff because, you know, I love Tarte. Um, but I have been loving, like, loose powders. I love loose powders, but mm, they're just so messy. Every time I use them, it's like all over my shirt. I can't stand it anymore. So, I got the Tarte High Performance Neutrals natural sorry uh smooth operator amazonian clay tinted press finishing powder i'm gonna sneeze excuse me anyway <laughs> so yeah it comes in this kind of packaging right here um let's open it up it's pretty 0 0.39 ounces all right almost half an ounce the packaging though is so cute i thought it was really cute it's like a little amazon path and then when you open it it's probably gonna fall out but it comes with a little sponge little film over it how am i supposed to get that out hey It doesn't really smell like anything though, but this is what it looks like. Why is it so washed out? I promise you it's not that fair looking. Um, even though it is the color fair, it's not like stark white like this pad here. I'm probably not going to use this pad. I'm probably going to use my regular spun or sponge. Um, what do you call it? Brush. Jesus. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this because I'm, I just can't stand using a loose powder and getting all over the place. I really like things compact, just easy, ready to go type of stuff. So there's that. I'm gonna put this back in there. And then we have something that I've been wanting to try for like a really, 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 really long time, but I haven't had the time to buy it Ooh, as I drop it and this is the Tarte Shape Tape 
concealer. Finally got my hands on this. This is the contour concealer in the shade Fair. You guys know that I love the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer. I'm obsessed with that, but I'm just in the market for something new and everybody on YouTube or even any social media says that this is seriously great. It does have a weird scent though. Am I like the only one who smells makeup products? That's like the first thing I do to tell if it's going to be good or bad. Sometimes the more chemically it is, the more it'll burn my face. Not really burn my face, but just have a stinging sensation in the cheek area. So really excited to try that out and I hope it works out for me just like it does for everybody else. Then I bought the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Cool Tan. And I bought it in Cool Tan because I want to start um, doing cream contouring again. Um, I used to cream contour all the time when I first started doing makeup at all. Um, but it's just like an extra step. That's an unnecessary step. I mean, it's necessary because it comes out looking a lot better. I think then if you were to do just a regular powder contour, I think it looks a lot better with the a liquid put down first and then a bronzer over top, but it's just an extra step and it takes so long to do. Um, but I want to say screw that and start doing it again, no matter how long it takes because it looks great. So yeah, I'm really excited to try that out. And I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal because these are really cheap actually. The... Let's see. Ellie Girl Pro Conceal was $4.99. And that's 0.28 ounces. For concealing, that's a lot. I feel like, though, because you're not supposed to use that much product, so a little bit will go a long way anyways. That Real Techniques Diamond Sponge was $10. A little bit more than the regular Real Techniques Sponge. I think the Real Techniques Sponge, the orange one, is $6.99. So I hope that I do get my money's worth for that sponge and that it's not gimmicky. And the Tarte Tinted Pressed Powder in the color Fair was $34 for 0.39 ounces. That's not even half an ounce. So I'm really hoping that those two work out, especially the Shave Tape Concealer. That was $27. Um, but that's what you get when you buy high end and sometimes high end doesn't really work out that well. So you're really taking a chance and I'm really just going off of reviews of what I saw on that stuff. So fingers crossed and I think that was it. The only other thing that I wanted to show you was this with my points at Ulta. They gave me a cute little bag from Tarte and it says I wake up for makeup and I thought this was pretty cute because I am in the market for a new bag a new makeup bag because mine's a piece of shit and on the inside they gave me this little baby little baby sponge he's so cute you could definitely use this for concealing the under eye but I don't know how often I'm gonna use that just because I like a bigger sponge for all over my face even in the under eye areas and small areas but yeah I thought that was really cute and then they also gave me a Tarte double duty beauty sample of the shape tapes so it comes in light light medium medium and tan all of these they are actually little samples in here in little aluminum packages so once you take it out you can test them and i thought that was pretty cute because i'm probably going to test the tan one to uh contour like i bought the la girl concealer for so i thought that was pretty cool and i can't wait to transfer all of my makeup into a nice new bag but yeah that is everything that i got from ulta i didn't get that much just because I don't know there wasn't really much that I wanted there um 
I mean, I'm really, I like Forever Makeup Forever. So, and they don't sell Makeup Forever at Ulta, which is really disappointing. But in any case, next time I'm going to go to Sephora instead. But yeah, that is it for this Ulta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified for when I post videos, which is Monday through Friday, every day of the week. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.